guys. So, good morning, guys. I am heading to the New Vegas International Terminal. Many of you guys have been asking me for this video, so let's go. I pre-booked my taxi to pick me up at 5 a.m. to catch my 7 a.m. airpiece flight to Accra, Ghana. Yes, Accra, Ghana is where I'm heading off to. I always advise people to use cab drivers they know when you have early flights rather than Ubers. On arriving at the airport, I was so impressed by how well lit the terminal looked from the outside. I made my way towards the terminal entrance, and here I was asked which airline I was flying with. Officials were only allowing traveling passengers into the terminal. So good morning guys, I just entered the new terminal airport for the first time, very irritating, went through, I guess the, what's it called, I went through the building and we had to put our, you know, our luggage through the machine which was fine, but the next thing, this group of people were like, um, open your bag, open your bag, and I had like talk to people right, but whatever, and they made me open my bag on the floor there to check and I had to keep asking, what is this for? The one other guy was like, oh yeah, it's NDLEA. Obviously that's a drug agency You're trying to check for drugs. And in my, in my head, I'm thinking it was with hand because they're checking for drugs. But I said, you know what, next time just be polite when you are, you know, introduce yourself, with, you know. <sighs> but anyway, um, just came up the stairs. I'm now in this actually quite impressive, beautiful terminal, guys. Um, as I mentioned before, I said it's Air Peace and Qatar, the only two airlines flying from here. Um, I'm not going to go and check in, uh, but also show you some, I guess, some cool videos of the airport. Yeah. It was great to see that the information screens were working, even though they didn't upload the counter information on screen. It was also great that the airport was well signposted so it was easy for people to navigate where the toilet, check-in, airline offices were situated. It was easy to locate the airpiece counter. I made my way towards the counter and there were two stages to check-in. -ing. On the first counter, my passport vaccination card were checked and a photo of my vaccination card was also taken. I was then told to make my way to another counter to complete the check-in process. I love that the initial checks were done in a professional, like an assigned cubicle. On making my way to the second counter, the RP staff at check-in lady was incredibly nice and polite. I asked that I be assigned a window seat to which she obliged. There was also a staff member there who helped me with placing my luggage to check-in. My hand luggage was a bit heavier than allowed, but because I had cameras and sensitive items in my luggage, they allowed me to be over the limit. I was so impressed by my encounter at check-in with the airpiece team. I was also provided with a departure card to fill for immigration during the check-in process. After checking in, I went to take a seat under the beautiful structure in the airport to fill my yellow departure card. This unique structure at the airport really beautified the airport. Oh gosh, I should probably add guys, this airport is very beautiful. I am so impressed. I'm just really, I'm praying that um, the airport continues to look like this because it is very impressive. Like, please, British Airways, the other airline should move here because Yes, we're tired of that other terminal. <laughs> I later went to check out the restroom because I'm of the opinion that the quality of a restroom is a judge of the quality of the building. I thought the restroom was okay, but not necessarily built for high use. One of the soap dispensers was already broken. It would have been better if it was constructed with durable sanitary wares. Nevertheless, it was good to see that they made accommodation for toilet facilities for the disabled. The prayer here is for maintenance. At this point, it was about an hour before my flight was to board, so I made my way towards immigration. 
At this stage, an official checked my passport and ticket to ensure that only traveling passengers can make their way towards immigration. There were two checks at immigration. An official first checks your documents, asks questions, and the other official stamps the passport for travel. I then made my way to baggage screening. It was nice to see the advanced screening machines, you know, the ones that, you know, the containers are on a rotating belt. As I was about to place my items on the conveyor belt, another official called me aside to check my passport again and ask where I was going. After making my way past baggage screening, I was stopped again by the NDLEA team, that's the Drug Enforcement Agency, who proceeded to ask me questions. All in all, they were actually very polite and we had a pleasant banter. I then made my way towards the boarding gate, which was a beautiful, well-lit part of the airport. There was ample seating area at my boarding gate, but by the time I got there, most passengers were already boarding. Now, let's talk about my experience with airpiece. The plane to Accra was an Embraer E195E2. It had 12 business class seats and 112 seats in the economy cabin. The economy cabin had a 2-2 seating configuration, which was very nice. It felt very private jet. There was ample leg room on this aircraft and I was particularly impressed by how clean the aircraft was. Not long after boarding, the safety briefing was conducted and we took off on our 50 minutes to one hour journey to Accra, Ghana. I loved how the cabin lighting changed for takeoff. It really set the ambience in the cabin. I loved that the seats in economy had power outlets, which meant that you could charge your electronic devices. There was also overhead lighting and also buttons to call attention in case you need assistance from the air hostesses. Not long after, the air hostesses came along to serve us food and drinks. I loved how cheerful and approachable the airpiece air hostesses were. I opted for a bottle of water and every passenger was offered a standard pack, which I was impressed with for a trip of less than an hour long. Inside this food pack was a pack of juice, some cream crackers, a small pastry, a mint and a muffin I didn't share on screen. I then went to the back of the plane to do a quick washroom review for you guys. Overall, a working washroom, very clean space with expected amenities provided.
Also, there was a baby changing table in the washroom. I always state this part to let mothers know that there are facilities on a plane to support them. Can I just say I was in love with this beautiful aircraft. Not long after we made our descent to Kotoko International Airport, we disembarked the plane onto the tarmac and we had buses waiting to take us to the terminal building. Oh, that's it over there. Ah, okay, it's already out. Um, honestly, fantastic flight, um, fantastic hospitality. I feel like Ghana immigration, they're always so lovely, so nice. Um, yes, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that flight review. Air piece, absolutely love it. As in, I actually think I prefer them to Awa. Bigger planes, nicer. Um, but yes, guys, let me know if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next video.